Hello, I'm Naoto Inagaki. Today I'd like to talk about a numerical research titled as Effect would Translate the Speed of Typhoons on Wind Waves. The climate change appears to modify the characteristics of tropical cyclones. It is possible that the unprecedented behavior of tissues would have devastating damage to our lives. The translate speed is one of the parameters we need to pay attention to. These two hurricanes, Harvey in 2018 and Dwayne over Bahamas last year, could be characterized by slow moving or even stalled tropical cyclones. This research arose from the question of how much the change of translated speed B can affect the generation of wind waves characterized by the significant wave height HS. In the field of meteorology, the potential slowdown of translated speed of future T-sheets was pointed out both by statistical and by numerical approach by Koshin and Yamaguchi respectively. The relationship of the changing translated speed on the storm surge was investigated by Kimizuka, which is summarized below. In this research, a typhoon wind field was expressed by a simple vortex defined as a central pressure, radius, and translated speed. Then the typhoon attacks a specific area. A scenario typhoon study is to discover the combination of parameters and tracks that would give the worst damage to the target place. This study concluded that the reduction of the transfer speed had influence on the increase of HS and tidal deviation. So this research was aimed at proposing a different method from a scenario typhoon study that could simulate slow-moving typhoons. Furthermore, a fundamental behavior of wave development with various transit speed was investigated. This study utilized a WRF Swan coupled model. WRF is a weather forecasting model and Swan is a third generation wave development model. In these models, the typhoon field was not oversimplified and observed meteorological data was available. The unique point of this study is summarized in the red circled rectangular in the figure. Modification of transit speed and resulting wind field modification were adapted to the simulated wind field of WRF. This modified wind field would be the input of swan simulation. The advantage of the modification is that V can be changed while maintaining other parameters such as the shape of wind field, the size, and the track of typhoons. Shiono Misaki in Honshu Island, Japan was chosen as a target location of simulating wind waves. There were three reasons for that. One was the availability of the observed wave data, and it can observe wind waves generated by typhoon passing nearby. Besides, there is no geographical obstacles which contributed to simulation condition to be simple. The eight latest typhoons passing by Shiono Misaki were picked up. As the figure shows, all typhoons came from southern west and went northeast after landfalling. The next few slides are about methodology. The Swan's computational field was decided by the result of hindcasting of the eight typhoons. This study required a fixed and broad computational field which could contain the track of all the eight typhoons. So the nesting setting was not used and the resolution of the computational field was relatively rough. Some of the results in the figure did not hindcast observed wave height well. However, the purpose of this study was not perfectly reproduce a wave field. So the computational domain was finalized with a certain level of accuracy that errors of the maximum HS were within 10% for at least 5 typhoons. I would like to explain two modifications to translate speed and wind field, respectively. The first is the translate speed. The fundamental idea is to compress or stretch the WRF time alignment. This figure shows the correspondence of the time series of WRF data and SWAN data. The WRF data is aligned every 60 minutes, but it is compressed to 30 minutes when inputting to SWAN. This essentially means that the transfer speed was doubled. Later in this presentation, the change of the transfer speed will be expressed as a percentage ratio to the original speed, so this faster case should be regarded as 200% case. In order to make a slow-moving typhoon on the other hand, the WRF data should be stretched. In this figure, the WRF data is aligned every 60 minutes, 
but they are extended to every 120 bits data for Swan's input. This modification essentially means the transfer speed was halved, and this case should be expressed as 50%. Next is about the modification of wind field W. Wind field is also changed by the variation of transfer speed. A fast typhoon generates stronger wind, and a slow typhoon generates weaker wind. In order to take account for the translation effect on wind field, an empirical typhoon model was utilized, in which the wind field was expressed as a vector summation of two types of wind cells, namely the pressure gradient component U1 and the translation component U2. Those are described in the figure. As in the middle of the slide, U2 was formulated as a 70% of a translation vector under certain assumptions. In other words, U2 was deemed to be proportional to the translation speed. Then the new wind field, V corrected wind field W prime, could be defined as a second formula in the below. U2 was simply multiplied by the rate of acceleration A. For example, in the case of 200%, A should be 2. Here, a new parameter called the global scaling ratio SG was introduced. This is a ratio of B collected wind to the original wind field. So there are many SG for each direction and each time step, but that causes a change of the shape of the wind distribution. Wind can be stronger in one part, but the other parts weaker. This is a problem to investigate the pure effect of B on wind waves. Therefore, the representative value of SG should be chosen. In this study, SG was defined statistically for each of the eight typhoons. Finally, whole wind field was scaled by simply multiplying the representative SG. In other words, the modified wind field has similarity to the original wind field. The physical meaning is that the shape of wind distribution was maintained. The figure in below describes the resultant modification to transit speed and wind field. Those three lines are originally the same, so the shape is similar. Just wind speed and time passage are different. The orange line represents 150 percent case. The line is compressed horizontally from the original line in blue. This means the typhoon passes faster. On the other hand, the orange line is stretched vertically because a faster typhoon should have stronger wind field. The similar thing is true of the slow typhoon in the green line. Slow cases mean weaker wind blows longer time. Let's move on to the results and discussion. The two kinds of mode were found between HS and B. The mode A in the left figure shows a strong effect of transfer speed on wind waves. Stronger wind could generate higher wave, but if a typhoon moves slowly, the wave was not high. Five typhoons showed this mode. The mode B in the right figure showed a completely different profile from the left figure. HS profile was less sensitive to the change of B but high HS was observed even if translate speed was slow. The black line in the light figure shows a 10% case. The translate speed is around 5 to 7 km per hour, almost stationary, but the same speed of hurricane Drian. In this case, the high wave, more than 4 meters, lasted over 3 days. The difference of two modes could be found in which of the wind components had stronger effect. If the effect of the pressure gradient component is weaker than that of the translation component, HS showed the mode A behavior, the sensitive profile to the variation of B. On the contrary, if pressure gradient component is stronger, a typhoon would keep strong wind field even if the transfer speed is changed. Considering the results, typhoon with the following feature would be potentially dangerous. One is a typhoon with low central pressure, large size, and slow speed. This type of typhoon tends to have strong wind by pressure gradient, so the translate component does not play an important role for HS development. 
Therefore, slower typhoon would keep high wave condition for long duration. The second case is where a typhoon with above features accelerates just before landfalling because both wind components will be strong. I also would like to mention the area under prolonged high wave condition. The figure shows a comparison of the same typhoon, but the left is the original case and the right is a slower case of 50% speed. The color map represents the time duration over which HS is more than 4 meters. The figure suggests that the red area covered in the wide range even in the vicinity of the coastal line. That means the coastal region would be under the influence of day-long high wave condition. These are the main conclusion of this study. A new method based on WRF Swan coupled model was introduced to simulate wind waves with a variation of transit speed of typhoons. In order to account for the change of transit speed, the unique modification process to wind field was provided utilizing an empirical typhoon model. At the second point, some of the features of slow-moving tissues were provided that would be potentially dangerous in the future. Since the pressure gradient has a stronger effect on the wind field than the translation, the high wave condition would last longer even if tissues almost stationary. As a last comment, I would like to coast the communities to pay attention to potential danger of a prolonged high wave condition because a day long high wave condition could be expected even in the coastal regions. We might need to prepare for the long term suspension of port operations, mooring ships, or structural design against prolonged unstable condition. These are the references of the presentation. Thank you for listening.